All right, guys, this next video has to do with uh, a not so fun subject that we got to cover called rhabdomyelosis. All right. Rhabdo, as it's typically known, comes from the tissue breakdown that happens after extreme exercise that enters the bloodstream, goes to the kidneys. The kidneys can't break down this muscle tissue. And what ends up happening is that you start to get kidney malfunction or kidney shutdown. It's bad news. Typically, it shows up as somebody feeling very sick, feverish, incredible soreness, typically in the arms area, biceps and forearms, sometimes the triceps. And uh, then they get feverish, they just feel horrible, and they typically have a feeling of, I feel like I need to go to the doctor. The extreme soreness people feel in their arms is typically uh, something called compartment syndrome. It's soreness that goes to a point where um, they no longer can actually straighten their arms. And I know this sounds a little scary and it sounds a little extreme, but it is something that happens 90% of the time. It happens with experienced athletes who take a break, they come back into the gym, and then they do pull-ups. It's just kind of the way it works. Those uh, muscle tissues get weak really fast. You get, uh, you push them to where you were two or three weeks ago before you took this break or six months or a year. Uh, and you come back in, it's too much volume, it's too much work, the tissue breaks down and the kidneys start to pay the price. So uh, more specifically when it does happen is not only from pull-ups, but actually from the eccentric or the lowering movement of pull-ups. So we really want to watch out for that. When we have new folks or we have folks returning, we want to make sure that when they're doing their jumping pull-ups, they are not lowering themselves down. They are coming down quickly from those jumping pull-ups. They're jumping up and lowering themselves right away. They're not hanging on over the bar. And uh, you want to make sure whenever anyone contacts you and says, ah, after that workout, I'm not feeling that well, go to the hospital go to the hospital. There's nothing they can do in the hospital other than monitor you, test you for rhabdo, and start getting fluids into your system, but at least you'll be monitored. And I hate to say it, but we've had a few cases here, and we want to make sure that we don't fool around. We get that person taken care of right away, okay? So if you have any questions, you can obviously contact us, um, but you want to be safe than sorry. Get them to the hospital right away. It usually shows up. 24 to 48 hours after the workout, uh, and um, it's, it's something that we want to take as serious as possible. So, like I said, hit us up with any questions regarding rhabdomyelosis. Thanks.